Chesapeake police are investigating a report of shots fired in a South Norfolk neighborhood not once, but twice this week. Today, bullets hit apartments and a car on Chesapeake Drive not far away. Shots pierced a home early Sunday morning off Bainbridge Boulevard and Grady Street in South Norfolk. Our Liz Palka brought you this story last night. A woman tells us a bullet tore through her home and got lodged in the ceiling of her teenage son's bedroom. Not far away today, 10 on your side, Darren Kelly spoke to a woman whose car was shot moments after she got out of it. Precious Yuri normally parks her car in the grass, but it was getting cut today, so she parked it over here. And as she's about to tell you, that decision could have put her in a dangerous situation. I'm just blessed to still stand here just to be talking to y'all. That's because after Precious Yuri parked her car on Chesapeake Drive, just got out and went back in the house. Time I hit the house, that's when it was all shots coming. I said, I just left. Just got out of my car. Uh, my God was definitely looking after me. I just heard boom, 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 boom. So I ducked down on my floor. Yuri says it had to have been as many as 10 gunshots. First thing I came to my door, my um, car, and looked, and I said, oh my God, my car been shot. There in the windshield on the driver's side, a hole through the glass. I was so much in shock, I just bust out crying. I was shooking up, you know, and, and, and you know, and I'm still upset behind it, behind the simple fact because it could have been my life. Police say someone also shot a building. No one was hurt. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. I just can't believe, it. you know, you see it on news all the time, but who would think it would happen to you? Police say the building that was hit was unoccupied at the time. They've not released any information about suspects. In Chesapeake, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.